welcome back to the uh, to the Midwest Sports Show. We are rock and rolling. Yeah. On uh, Monday night. Yeah. With all my rowdy friends on Monday night. Oh my gosh. Hank Williams Jr. Remember when they kicked him out for a while, but luckily they brought him back. And there's a whole generation that has no idea mm. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Back in the old days, that was something. Yeah, ba- back before uh, Carrie. It's not even Carrie Undu- Underwood. No, she anymore, does Sunday right? night. Yeah, they brought Hank Williams Jr. back because they, they for regular they, Monday night. Uh, okay, I think so. Well, Gene, you're watching Monday Night Football on your goddamn phone I know, right now. I don't. I never watch sporting events with the sound on. I don't watch anything with the sound what? on. <laughs> Really? Don't they show uh, Bocephus uh, yeah, I don't spinning into a spittoon? Yeah. I watch more f- 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 uh, sports. I was in Vegas with my family this weekend. Very nice family I have. So, But I watch a lot of sports. We bet on a lot of games. And then I'm not a gambler, per se, but I did. Only oh, love. Only yeah. love. But how about this? My nephew, my brother's son, he quali- the golfer, he qualified for the uh, U.S. Open kids thing. They're playing at Pinehurst next right, up. What are his odds? Well, there's 150 kids across the country that qualified. Yeah, it's uh, it's a week before the U.S. Open, I think. That's terrific. What, it's going to be at Pebble Beach? or Pinehurst. Is it? Pinehurst. In, isn't it North Carolina? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I think so. I so good job. Stuff. And then uh, uh, my sister and I, yeah, we're doing our Airbnb, so we've been very busy with that. Although I have very little to do with it. I just turn it over to them. But my family is great. Even I'm proud of my mom. I taught her how to sports bet. And uh, so she cashed in two tickets this weekend. She bet Iowa. And then she bet the Packers. Oh, yeah? She was so excited to win. Yeah. Wow. We all, oh, yeah, I'll have you know, because my brother-in-law, he's a Cowboys season ticket holder. But everybody in my family bet the Green Bay last night, so it, it wow. was awesome. I know, Gene. We should uh, we should produce a uh, gambling podcast with your yeah. family. Oh yeah, and my brother and my brother in law actually bet the Nationals over two games ago, and it was eight. It was, the run total was eight, and it was it was what four to one, and then uh, uh, Houston hit the grand slam, and they went crazy. Wow. So well, Gene, you know, last week I said uh, Nationals in a sweep. Yeah. And uh, after game no, two, it was no. looking pretty good. And I yeah. was like, damn, if only I would have like bet some money on that. But uh, oh, they're, yeah, it, Nationals had something hey, else to say. Hey, they, we, were sorry, a, yeah, we were at Nationals. the sports book last night. So you have the Packers on almost every screen. And then uh, next to it, they have the World Series. And I go, what the hell is baseball doing trying to compete with football? Right? Yeah, against Aaron Rodgers. I mean, and they shouldn't be playing right now. There's no way. I And I'm not talking about last night. I'm talking this late. The season should, right? Don't you agree? Uh, eh, you know. You can't. Okay. Let's good schedule luck. It. Oh, I, hey, oh, hey, get Gene, those not, ratings out. Who, the, how'd they do? Uh, oh, they they're not. Hey, they're not going against the juggernaut of the Dolphins Steelers. <laughs> I know. They tonight, should be huh? playing tonight. Yeah, they should have changed it up. Yeah. Changed it up. And then. And then. And then I had to drive. I drove back from Vegas. I had to take my mom to the airport at 4.30. So I drove back this morning and only to come back and find out LeBron had to evacuate his house. So, wow. Man. Crazy, Gene. Hey, I took Waze. So coming through downtown is obviously very – they diverted me. And I, I went on this route. I drove through Angeles National Forest, like 40 <laughs> miles. It's like, what the hell is Waze doing? I didn't know the, the roads. There, there was yeah. a lot of trouble. Did you make time? Did you make good time? No. My I, theory is that by the time you end up going all through these crazy I routes know, and getting I, lost and getting back on the right, right track. I mean, I was I was in the time. mountains for like 40 miles and it was treacherous and I didn't know where I was. No, it's still I would have rather just stayed on the freeway and just sucked it up. I didn't care that much. All but right. I, Well, Gene, oh. we had six viewers and it dropped down as you babbled. Uh, oh, sorry. Then now to two. <laughs> oh, OK. Oops. Well, I didn't make it back in uh, no. time to do this. No, so. Gene, I, I hear it. some people tell me that uh, you talk in the beginning of the show is the best part of the show. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I have heard that from uh, people. Right. Hey, by the way, I'm not wearing any Cubs stuff for a while. I'm wearing Iowa stuff today. Uh, I, I'm going to let the Cubs take a break. Until, All right. Well, yeah. we'll we'll talk about the Cubs because there is Cubs news. Yeah, they had their press conference today. All right. Okay. We'll talk about that. And but how about this? When I was in Vegas, they did the Irishman premiere and they turned Hollywood Boulevard into New York. And I wish I would have saw it, but I was gone. But yeah, I'm the Irishman. It. Yeah, the Martin Scorsese film. Oh, that's the new one. Three and a half hours long, which is perfect for me. Right. 
Are you yeah. going to go see a three and a half hour long? Uh, no, I protest uh, Morgan Scorsese because uh, how dare he uh, <laughs> criticize the Black Panther? Oh, wow. And oh, uh, yeah, the Guardians. Right. Yeah, he's not a big fan of all those guys. And uh, Iron Man 3. How dare you, Martin? <laughs> Have you ever seen Iron Man 3? Uh, those movies are good. And I think, I think, uh, Mark, I hate that. I love Martin Scorsese, and I don't like him to, um, you know, get on his mighty whatever. And his horse? Down. Quentin Tarantino wouldn't do that. And now, how about Tarantino? Now he added 10 minutes, so he, we, he's going to force me to go see that movie again. I've already seen it twice. He added the 10 minutes to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah, and they're re-releasing I bet he did not week. have a choice on that. I bet he did not have a choice because you, you got to think, you know, him as an auteur – Thinks that once you make that final cut, it's final, right? I mean, who's this I guy, George think Lucas? So. I mean, he shot a lot more, obviously, did, but now. Did Greedo shoot first in the new one? Or what's uh, up? Oh, I don't know. All right, well, Gene, we should uh, maybe yes. say the name okay. of the show. It's All called right. the, the Midwest that's, Sports that, Show. That's on you, by the and, way. You uh, drive this train. We talk about uh, the Midwest Sports. Got a lot to talk about. Okay. Not really, but uh, we'll, we'll stretch it out. My name is Chris Stotts, Hello. and then that's Gene Steichen. Mm. And. Oh. Uh, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No. You know, I was saying in Vegas, I was in Vegas, and there were a ton of Packer people. Oh, yeah. you know, uh, people wear their colors, but the most I saw for teams, Saturday I saw a lot of Iowa people, and uh, we had our alumni group at Hooters, and I'm like, uh, Hooters? Is Hooters not the worst place? Yeah. Hooters I mean, is like a 12-year-old's fantasy, like what a it seems, adults go to. Doesn't right? it seem so outdated? Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> I, like well, first of all, you got these chicks. Yeah. Uh, not, not all of them have big hooters, by the way, Gene. That's not that's not a requirement. I've <laughs> yeah, seen I've I seen small hooters. I didn't hooters. notice on Saturday. I tried to be respectful. I've seen hoodies. Yeah, yeah. Hooters and hoodies. Not, <laughs> nothing wrong with hoodies, Gene. No. Uh, but then what always freaks me out is these uh, nylon stockings yes, that they wear. I noticed that Saturday. They're I not, know how uncomfortable. They is don't. That? Well, they don't wear shorts. You can't wear shorts because it's like a restaurant. In case you spill food all over yourself, oh, you're gonna okay. burn. Get a burn right. leg, leg burn, burn. Yeah, and uh, I don't. It's just weird. It's like uh, looking at your grandma. Yeah, in these nylons, you know. I know. I was thinking that Saturday, but I do appreciate a waitress who's wearing Iowa socks. And then, Gene, the des- the desperation of the people that actually like going to Hooters, I... who actually talk to these girls right, as if right. uh, you know any of these girls is gonna like you I know, know reciprocate yep. any affection. That's very uncomfortable. Hey, there's a Hooters on Hollywood Boulevard, and I think I've been there once for, uh, and it's been there for a long time. I've been there once when like ESPN LA or something did an event <laughs> there, and I, I, I yeah, was it back I, in the '80s or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's creepy. It seems and weird. Uh, and then there's just the desperation, Gene, even from the who, who, Hooters. Uh, what do you call? It? I won't say actresses, but waitresses. Yeah. I, here's a story about Hooters. For some reason, me and my friends, like when we were in a, a couple of years ago in our early, tw- whatever, mid-20s, late-20s, we went to Hooters for some reason. I don't know why we did, but we did. And, uh, you know, we had one waitress, and it's just four guys, and uh, it's pretty slow and all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, we started getting more and more food, you know, getting more beers and all this stuff. And then uh, another waitress came over. Hey, hey, hey I'm, I'm Angelina or whatever, you know, what she says. Would you guys yeah. w- would you guys like a refill on that bar or that beer, that uh, whatever? The pitcher? Or like, yeah, sure, why not? And then she like hurriedly hurried hurriedly Yeah, that's hurriedly right, right. writes her name on the uh receipt so she can uh grab a portion of that tip. Oh very uh wow. conniving. Yeah. I bet the original chick was like, Man, what the fuck? Oh boy. But they probably do it to each other, so uh, Well, that's where the Vegas alumni group meets, so but they're they're very nice people. The but. Vegas alumni or the Iowa yes, alumni? Yes, the Iowa alumni group's got a – they have a group all over, but they have a Vegas one. Huge. Usually uh, – There are Hooters in people. Iowa, right? Yeah, the co-founder is from Iowa. Oh, of Hooters? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know his name or anything about him, but I think he's from – But he has morning. a picture of your family on his wall, though, Yeah, right? I think so. All right. I don't know. All right, go back to last week's well, show. Well, see, I talk in sports. I talk in Iowa football. One all beat. Right. We beat Northwestern 20 to nothing. Oh, uh, Wisconsin. The, uh, Badgers the, lost the, to the, Iowa the, State. The, the, the derailment is on. They got crushed by. Well, it's a good thing I don't give a fuck <laughs> about college sports. Well, they're going to get paid but soon. But, I, so. I mean, <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. No matter how good – you know, that's why, that's why I don't get excited about Wisconsin football. Like, you know, I don't care, like, how good their offensive line, how good the receiver is, and, uh, you know, their quarterback will always suck. But uh, they will never beat Ohio State. 
Yeah. They Ohio, never beat Ohio right, State, right. so who cares? Absolutely. Yep, yep. They're always well, going to lose Ohio State. They're neck, they've lost two in a row, Badgers. They started so You know why? Why? Because there ain't nothing to do in Ohio. Okay, there you go. In Columbus. Right. Madison's so great. But the next game is Iowa-Wisconsin in two weeks. So. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be there? I would love to go, but no, I'm going to be here. I think right. I got a musical. Oh, I got Jesus Christ Superstar. Ooh, very good. And then, who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, I'm going twice. I'm going Saturday and Sunday. And then uh, after that, it's Donna Summer Musical. I'm all in. I'll miss football for musicals. Gene, I'd rather watch uh, Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ <laughs> rather than that. <laughs> you're missing out. Isn't well, that you're sacrilege not invited. to watch it during Halloween, though, too? Is that yeah, the, uh, well, Halloween it opens uh, t- tomorrow. Yeah, I'm seeing it Saturday. And I bought tickets to see it two days in a row. I anticipate I'm going to like it that much. Right, well, Gene, uh, okay. I expect you to uh, be able to tell us a story. I will. And it's the uh, it's only the story of Jesus, so okay. uh, you should probably know I'll about it. I'll do my it. best. All hey, right. I didn't watch. Uh, oh, by the way, yesterday during the height of the football game and, and uh, we're in Vegas where all the games are on TV, I took my mom to a musical. Uh, so there you go. All right. So I missed. Uh, I didn't see Washington at Minnesota. Oh, that was Thursday. That was Thursday. I was at a show Thursday, too. <laughs> um. All right. So, Gene, we're going to start off. Yeah. All right. We're going to start off with uh, the Thursday night football game, right, Washington right. and Minnesota. Ugly, right? Uh, the game of uh, two racist mascots. Wow. Of course. Oh, because. Uh, of course, the, you got one side. The Viking. He with, a, and... with a terrible uh, caricature of a proud warrior. Right. And uh, using every stereotype in the book. And then you got Washington Redskins on the wow. other side of the coin here. That's, I, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I, I've never really been, I, I thought the Viking guy. Gene, you, yeah. you're part Norwegian, right? I am not. You have a little Norwegian? No. no? I, I have zero Norwegian. Okay. Irish, well, your, your family was probably raped by a Norwegian, by a could Viking. Could have been. I don't know. Back Did they the go day. over there? My mom's at, sides from Ireland, and it's Irish oh. German. Most of my hometowns. All right, well, yeah. definitely. Probably Vikings pillage your uh, ancestors. Oops, I knocked something over. Hey, by the way, my grade school. Back in the day. My grade school's closing, too. Hey, the, the, the Catholic schools, maybe they deserve it. They're going right, out well, of business in my hometown. All right, well, they, Gene. Speaking of uh, pillaging and other things. Gene, I I'm uh, I'm half I'm half Norwegian. Gene. Oh, you are? I see. Yeah. Are you offended by what's his And, uh, Gene, I, you know, I, I've never had horns coming out of my uh, <laughs> head. What was the old right. guy? Oh, Ragnar. And uh, hey, Gene, yeah. you know we all we all don't have flowing blonde hair either. <laughs> right. Yeah. All I right. So. Yes. Right. So uh, I'm tired of these uh, stereotypes being perpetuated. Okay. Uh, by this uh, football team. Yeah. All right. I don't. I I don't think. Uh, I've never really been bothered. But the Redskins. That's another. That's a big, way bigger deal. Yeah, it's tradition. You know, it's, but they got so forever. much. They got so many other problems that maybe that could so would look. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, I although uh, the the Vikings uniforms, Gene, if you can see the picture, I on saw there, that they went all purple. Pre- pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, although they should although, have the horn be purple too. That, right. That's, that's what purple, Mike. But, that's uh, what uh, 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 pro football. What's the pro football talk guy? Mike. Uh, Mike Florio. Mike Florio said they should, and he's he's right. If you go all yellow, let's get yellow horns. Yeah, like it's like a Rams yellow going on with the horn, and all right? That stuff, but it's so. I like those. I like when they do. Yeah, that. They should wear it more often. I, it's I have pretty to cool. Admit. Yep, absolutely. And then Gene, uh, more. Uh, you know, Gene, we were talking last week about JJ Watt. Maybe that's why. By the way, he got hurt. Oh, and he's out for the season because he's wearing out two of eight jersey. Oh yeah, that's right. He guy, was. guy from Pewaukee, uh, Wisconsin's wearing your Waukesha, oh, Wisconsin, yeah. wearing an Altuve jersey. Wow. Well, Gene, it gets worse. Uh oh. Joe Thomas. Ooh, ex Badger. Uh, ex Badger, uh, ex Brown, but of course he had no choice in that. He got drafted, and yep. hey, I'll, I'll take $100 million from the Browns. No problem right, about right. that. Uh, he blows on that giant Vikings horn. Oh, he did? Before the game. Wow. Yep. So, so that's their thing. Yeah, they have someone blowing that horn. Yeah, so uh, Gene, I don't know what's worse, uh, Minnesota like cheering this guy, blowing on their horn, right? A Wisconsin boy, yeah. Blo- hey, guess what? You got Wisconsin people blowing your goddamn horn. <laughs> yeah, I don't. What, what are you guys blowing? You guys ain't blowing shit. Yeah, Minnesota. Wow. I know. But uh, Joe Thomas, I mean, come on, man. That's, I, mean, I listen. I, I, I don't I, think you can do that, Joe Thomas. I mean, I know you're working for the NFL Network. I don't think they paid you to blow the horn. Yeah. All I, right. A so. Long time- uh, 
Live up to your birth state. There okay? you go. How about I, that? I long time ago. I'm not a Vikings fan at all, but I met Ragnar, and uh, I got to blow on his horn. It was at a parade. We're both performing, <laughs> so maybe that's why he probably doesn't do that. No, what kind of parade but was this? I don't know. It was probably in Wisconsin or Minnesota somewhere. And then, uh, uh, but Joe Thomas. Well, what gas said, station stop? I don't know. Okay, no, keep, we used, I used to do a lot of parades in these little towns, and you just I don't know. You, they, they get <laughs> you meet up with Rag- yeah. Ragnar shows up, and all yeah. of a sudden, uh, his shirt's off. Right, right. Uh, okay. Party's on. Hey, fourteen-year-old boy. Uh, but we went. To, we've been to Waukesha. Yeah. And right. oh, the guy working the window at the sports book yesterday, he's from Wausau, which is northern Wisconsin. So he was very helpful. He agreed that we should bet the Packers. All right. Um, and then Gina, this was the uh, emotional return of Adrian Peterson. Oh wow! To Minnesota. Did he play? I didn't even see. see. Uh, he got in. Uh, yeah, he played. He got a standing ovation from the crowd. Yeah. Well, let's see when uh, in five years when he can't afford his child. Support. Very, very emotional, Gene. Yeah, really. You know. Okay. Not. P- pretty sad, you know. Yeah. You know, not as sad as getting whipped in the testicles with I a uh, uh, electrical cord, but sad nevertheless. <laughs> all right. I knew, I knew that. Sad times. Coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's broke already. God. I think. Uh, well, he's literally like, playing for dollars. He's like, I know uh, he he can't even pay the bank back. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, I'm trying to pay my phone bill, uh, but we got a bye week this week. What yeah, the hell? absolutely. And and all these kids, he's got eight kids with six women or something. I don't uh, it's know, probably yeah, like guys. eleven. It's, I'm still up to eleven. I think he did yeah, the full eleven. Be. Yeah. Well, good luck. Vikings are pretty good, I guess. Yeah, they're right? good. Yeah. Uh, you know what? They're being shit teams, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit well, teams. Yeah. All right. And, uh, Gene, uh, so I know you're in Las Vegas, but uh, did, did, you happen, Bears. did you happen to watch the uh, Los Angeles Chargers versus Chicago Bears? I game? only saw the first half because then we went out to the Pioneer Saloon, which is way out outside of uh, Vegas. It's legendary place, oldest saloon in Nevada. And uh, they only had one TV, and it was on Turner Classic <laughs> Movies. So no, I did not see it. I you heard didn't, about it. You didn't. You didn't. But that you, first half was a disaster. Did you see it? Oh, I watched the whole game. It man. was incompetence at its finest. All right. Well, before we get to that, Gene. Yeah. A lot of uh, uh, you know what? Well, let's just get to the game. We can go back to that. Right. Uh, well, but it looked pretty good because the Bears did intercept uh, Philip Rivers. Right. At one point. Well, they they should have been up by seventeen well, at the half. By that the halftime, means- they had. 12 plays inside the 10 yard line oh without a gosh. TD. Have you that nine, one, of the, nine of those inside the five yard line? Yeah, that one drive where they had three plays and then they got a then a, a penalty on charge, so they had three more. So they had six plays inside the five. That may have been the worst exhibition of inside five yards. Have you ever seen anything worse? It was uh, inept. I think it's even, the word. they didn't even get pushed back on a penalty. The Bears they had six legitimate plays inside the five. Well, they uh, you know. Oh my gosh, what? A- uh, Nagy was saying that uh, you know the fact they only ran it seven times was horseshit last week. Yeah, right. They yeah. Uh, they kept on giving it to Trubisky. I don't know. I mean, they they kept on giving it him. Yeah, he threw fifty four yep. times last week, <laughs> but they ran pretty good yesterday. But you got to remember too, Chargers suck. They're not good. That's not. They're not good. They're missing a bunch of starters. Oh my gosh! It, yeah. the, the, the Bear fans, which is I don't know. No, I can't be disappointed in them. But they booed the team off Trubisky, at halftime. He, you know, he was making throws at some point. You know, he was missing some, but he was actually uh, pretty efficient. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he uh, until he, uh, he threw that fourth quarter interception. I, thank God I didn't see that. That would have there was him. the Chargers did not get a field goal. I think they missed it. But then on the, I think yeah, right, right. On the next series, might have been the next play, fumbles. Oh my god! And then uh, the Chargers got a uh, touchdown to, to get one point ahead. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and it it makes it worse when you. I don't normally bet, but you're in Vegas, so you bet. Not only they're just playing awful, and then you it's bet on them too. Yeah, then you really get pissed. What were the odds, by the way? What did you? That get? Bears, they were five and a half point favorites, and oh then by God. game time it had dropped to five. But that was the final line. They were five point favorites. Wow, I, I would have taken the Chargers, no problem. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Uh, he did get the ball at the end of the uh, second half of the game, and he did lead them down. Yeah. He made and some, but Chargers, the they're not. 
that, that was wide left at the 41. And they deserve to miss that kick. And, and then Nagy, I well, listen they're to so, so conservative. I know. Everyone's saying, why didn't you go a couple more plays? He had to, 43 uh, seconds left. Yeah, just let it. You had Trubisky and uh, kneel they it. Had, okay, they had 43 seconds left, plus they had a timeout. I mean, for good sakes, they had three downs. They could have done four, By the way, 41 yards, that, that ain't that ain't an no, extra point. That's, that's longer not. than an extra point. Yeah. And, and look at they they because the Trubisky had an eleven yard run to get them down uh, where they were. Uh, so they had three plays. They could have run three plays or at least two. And wow, I don't. And Nagy's super defensive. He's he kind of went off on the reporters yesterday. He's like, no, 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 oh, no, no I'll, second I'll, thoughts. All no you have to thoughts. do is see the end of the Packers game last night. What what Aaron Rodgers third and five, right? You think, oh, they're not going to throw it. They're going to just run it and try to run out as much clock. They threw it. Right, and I know Trubisky. I'll t- no, tell you again. what, Gene. Seeing Aaron Rodgers, oh, uh, that was lead, lead a two-minute, one-minute uh, offense. One of the, that's exactly opposite of the Trubisky. end of the first half of the Bears. The, the Bears, most incompetent team uh, inside the five, and then uh, Aaron Rodgers on his own two what, masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, right, like night and day. Like Nagy, night and day. They, you can't trust and. The, the Bears kicker had already missed a three, 33 yard field goal. I'd be like, uh, yeah, I've seen enough. Uh, how about you hand it off? Maybe you guys like run he one in. He kept saying, you know? Nagy kept saying, well, you could fumble and whatever. That, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Or you could miss the field goal. How about that? Yeah. How about that? I, your chances of fumbling are a lot less than you uh, making the field goal. All right. If so I said that after, right. Sure. After they missed the field goal, the uh, I don't remember who this was, but the uh, TV announcer guy. Oh, uh, it was Tom Brenneman did the game. And uh, oh, and then was it uh, Moose Johnson? It could have been. Does it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he could have been. Whoever there. it was said, uh, you can't put this on Trubisky. He got him down there. Can't put uh, this on Trubisky. You can put a lot of it on him. Uh, you, yeah. uh, how about the fact that uh, you suck dick for ni- <laughs> for uh, 58 minutes, huh? Hey, my mom listens to this. How about that? Uh, I agree. I mean, okay, so he got him down there. That does not excuse it, it, it. The Bears should have scored a lot more points, a lot more, and that's on him. Yep. On yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, you were telling me about the uh, Chicago uh, morning radio. Oh yeah, I listen to ESPN what? Chicago, and I know Bill Simmons. I said Trubisky holics. The, there is not a bandwagon at all for Trubisky. They're calm for his head. They want him out of there. They'll take <laughs> Chase Daniel. And I was telling you, there's a there's some kid. Uh, his Halloween costume, I guess, was. Uh, He's wearing Trubisky. All right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Gene. Oh, let let me set this up. Okay, do you know the story? Yes. Oh, you got it? This. Okay, yes, good. That's better because I don't know the so, story. So, Gene, it gets worse, Gene. <laughs> okay. What, it gets I don't worse. even know the story. Uh, well, there's a ho- hockey game. Hockey is back, Gene. Did you know this? Yes, I did. I, I I know it. I'm not really paying and, attention. And uh, Chicago right has a hockey team, Gene. Were you aware of this? I, I do know the Blackhawks play there. I forget yes, this I sometimes. Yeah. So, there's, you know how they do the interviews? Yes, uh, between you know, periods. Yeah, yeah. Between, peri- between quarters, you know? Periods. Oh, sorry. Three periods. Uh, kid got interviewed over the PA during an oh, intermission. that's what it was. Okay. And they asked him, who's your favorite Blackhawks? Uh, uh, Jonathan Toes. I don't know. Tape. I, to- Jonathan Tapes. Tapes? Tapes? Yeah, Tapes. Tapes. No, With it's spelled w? weird. You're saying it how it's spelled, but it's Jonathan Tapes. It's like yeah. German or something like that? I don't Tapes. know. It's Norwegian. Uh, because he's the captain and he's good. And the uh, the person asked, "What are you going to be for Halloween?" Kid says, "A football player." Yeah. Which foot? Which which player? Wow. And the kid answers, "Mitch Trubisky." Um. <laughs> boo! Oh I just boo it. Poor boo kid. Boo! I mean, gee, I mean, I know Philly booed Santa Claus, right, but right. Uh, but booing a little kid trying to be his hero. Oh my gosh. That's something I didn't. That's disturbing. But I'll tell you, that's a reaction. Not only the the people, the the media and the host are, are panicked about the Bears. You, there's not. I he does not have a fan base. Trubisky, maybe with little kids because he's a quarterback. But well, I see, I see in the stands all these people wearing number ten jerseys. So I don't well, know. I mean, what that's he's all your about. quarterback, and he he they were twelve and four last year, so they had higher expectation. And once you commit to a jersey, they're usually like a hundred bucks. A lot <laughs> of they're like, I'm gonna go roll with it. You can't return it. You can't yeah. return it. it's like a pair of shoes. Wow, but it's ugly. Well, Gina, you can tell things are not going good because before the game. The players had a players only meeting Thursday. I know, which got a lot of press too. 
uh, about the meeting, which is unusual, I guess, to do it. Gene, wouldn't it be interesting to be a fly on the wall? Mm. It may have sounded something like this. Oh. So, Gene, why don't you be Mitch Trubisky? Oh, hi, guys. And I'll, I'll be the captain of, like, the defense. Who's the yeah, captain Khalil of the defense? Mack. Khalil Mack? Yeah. I'll be yeah. Khalil Mack. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, listen, I thought it would be a good idea. I mean, we all got together. Let's just – let's go. We, it's time we get, all get on the same page so we can make a playoff run. This is a this is a very winnable game against the Chargers. Now, I think – Mitch. Defense, oh, yes? Yes, Khalil. Mitch, how'd you get in here? Oh, I, I – well, I thought – uh, you know, both defense and offense share the responsibility. We should all be oh, hey, oh, hey, Which one of you motherfuckers invited Mitch? <laughs> invited number 10. Uh, well, Was it you fucking wide receivers? Uh, well, Who the well, fuck? Yeah. God damn. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, uh, go take a seat, Mitch. And and you know what? The defense got to hate him. Not only because he's got him on the field way too much in it, it turnovers and bad plays. And the defense, Wow. They can't just yeah. You can't win on the Super Bowl by by yourself. So so uh, it didn't work. That the, the players only meeting. Who's gonna go? Who's work. gonna go first, Mitch or uh, Matt Nagy? Nagy's there to stay for a while. I mean, he didn't. He wasn't. Uh, coach. What if he keeps on playing uh, Mitch Trubisky? How, well, how long I mean, is he gonna stay? Hey, you know what? The GM, the GM, Ryan Pace. He's the one that got Trubisky. Yeah, uh, he's is, the one that is took he being told? Is he telling? Uh, Mm. Nagy to uh, play him. Well, you know, I, I, I bet, spent so many draft Nagy picks. Nagy came in after Trubisky, and he's probably like, "Hey, dude, if you bench Trubisky, I'm going to lose my job." Uh, so, yeah, they are they're screwed for the next five years. Oh, if they don't figure this out, they're done for. Because they you give all those picks right. away for Khalil Mack. They don't have they any number nothing. ones. You're right. No number ones coming up. They're stuck with Trubisky, and you got to make a decision about his contract. You know, do you extend him? No, but <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious. Oh, they need man. to pick up some. I mean, hey, why did they get Fitzgerald? Fitzgerald or something. Oh, get Fitzgerald. Fitz magic, I don't. They're talking about Marcus Mariota or someone like oh, that. <laughs> Jameis Winston. There you go. Yeah. But uh, it's, I, I'm surprised because people are so excited this year, and it's been from game one against the Packers, which I was at. Yeah. I could. And now they got to <laughs> go on the road a bunch. They're going to Philadelphia right. where they're going to get their ass kicked, All I right. believe. All right, let's get this moving right okay. along. Yeah. By the way, do you know that George Halas played for the Yankees? Did not for, know For like that. 20 games? Nope. Pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, and then uh, so the uh, great – talk about a professional awesome. football team. I, I only, play play Kansas City. I didn't see oh, – I, I saw uh, the most of the game, not the whole game. I missed the beginning. So uh, Green Bay dodged the bullets, and Patrick Mahomes, of course, dislocated his knee yeah, a right, week ago, right, two weeks right. ago. And uh, but apparently the, he he was actually like throwing during practice and uh, he's awesome. before the game he could have he said he, he would have played if it was a playoff game he was ready to go he's he's amazing I I like the way and he, he probably, operates probably would have uh, torn well I don't know if he would have torn up the Packers defense but probably would have torn up the Bears defense for sure yeah uh, well you know the Packers goes up fourteen zero really quick it looks like it's gonna blow it but uh, Matt Moore his he replacement was good right. Yeah, he was slinging dimes. I mean, Kansas City's got a good ass team, and Andy Reid was calling good plays, yeah, and uh, putting the defense on their heels, and uh, it was definitely a game. And uh, but you know what? When you got a pro like Aaron Rodgers, and you know what? It's good to see the Packers making adjustments. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So that seemed like it never happened last year. Or so it uh, was so great, and I, you know what? Even Patrick Mahomes was there. Aaron Rodgers, he's on a roll, and he's my fantasy quarterback, and. The thing in Vegas, you can bet during the game. So me and my sister bet on the second half, and wow, what a display! Were the Packers favored still, or were they not? They were favored in the second half. They were losing at halftime by three. They were favored by three and a half second half. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, yeah, you know that one throw he made to uh, was it Williams, like in the corner mm. of the end zone? Oh I my mean, gosh! Uh, I mean, wow. Patrick Mahomes may be the only other player that can do that, that and his, was his knees busted up. All right, so. And that last drive was just stunning. How <laughs> you know, beautiful Bill it was. Simmons never talks about Aaron Rodgers. He he loves to shit on him when uh, he's playing bad, but when uh, Aaron Rodgers is just uh, unstoppable, best right. quarterback right. of all time. He he's I, I think Aaron Rodgers is pretty much reminded everyone that this guy is the yeah. best player of all time. He's so and Patrick he, Mahomes. Maybe you got a couple more years. Right, right, yet, right. But, but man, when Aaron and he's so smart, he's just so smart. And 
I don't know. You know, the end of that first half with the Bears, they had 23 seconds where they had to clock the ball to get a field goal attempt. They barely got it clocked at one second. I mean, the half could have, that's how incompetent they could, are. Could have ended right there. Yeah, Green Bay, they would have run two plays. And, uh, you know, I, it's just, uh, he's Aaron great. And, and Aaron Rodgers on the road, he, they're coming to L.A. this week. So, yeah, that's yeah, tickets are three hundred bucks right yeah, now. Yeah, so, I'm going uh, to. I'm actually going to be a Jesus Christ superstar. So I wanted to go. I thought about, but ticket prices. Woof. Yeah. Yep. All I, right. They're good though. They All are right. good. So they we'll uh, we'll see if I can get tickets cheap. Well, probably not, but we'll maybe see what the only chance you'd have is to wait till kickoff. But I don't know how much. Yeah, who wants drop. to travel all the way to? Oh, uh, that's Carson. <laughs> Carson, which is about fifteen miles. And south then there's of nothing around there, so nothing. it's like uh, you can't go watch a game at a bar or anything. Yeah, that sucks when stadiums. They don't. Yeah, you got to develop uh, the area. Well, but. news out of Green Bay, Gene Clay Matthews sells his Hobart ho- house. Hobart. Oh. I guess that's a city near Green Bay, a suburb okay. in Green Bay. Cuts final ties to Green Bay. Oh, Clay. Very sad. Very sad, Gene. Well, Gene, you know, it's not uh, it's not all tears. Because, mm. you know, this house. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, the house gets damaged every year. Oh, oh yeah, when people come by. Can only be lived in every third day. Uh, but it's <laughs> oh, it, but it's got long it. blonde hair, Gene. Oh, so I didn't know uh, there you going. go. Wow. Oh, and and it was good ten years ago, but now not so wow. much. Not so so much. you don't think he's a Ring of Honor guy? No, nah, I mean he won the Super Bowl with the Packers. Come on, I mean sure. He's uh, he's, he's overrated though, you know. Overrated. Yeah, I guess he's not a Hall of Famer. In a good couple years, he'll be a Packer Hall of Famer though. I guess I don't know how hard that is, but not a Ring of Honor. By the way, if he was black, yeah, we wouldn't even be. He wouldn't even be playing right now, right? You okay. would be out of the game. All right, and then uh, we're going to be moving right along here. We got a World Series recap. I mean, Astros up three two. Stunning. To That's another thing. What the hell? And listen, Max I Scherzer love- with yeah. a, with the neck spasms. You may have cost yourself the World Series, there, young man. Right, right. Fucking but- two eyed colored weirdo. Oh, <laughs> I, just, I just noticed that the other day. Like, yeah, I'm sure yeah. I probably heard that, but then yeah. I saw a picture of him. He's got two different colored eyes. Hey, Kinda listen, weird. I was in the sports book with a lot of sports fans last night, and they go, this is the problem with baseball. They have game five on a Sunday night going up against the NFL Packers Chiefs. They have no chance. They, they're they they're playing in the wrong season. They should have been. Yeah, it's just no chance. Oh, well. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't really go. Fine, whatever. All right, and then uh, David Ross. Yeah, he's our new to uh, the Cubs. I I'm all in. I mean, I'm gonna just trust Theo on this one. I a lot of people. Oh, Gene, maybe you heard about the interview process. Oh yeah, they uh, had to do a per, fake press per, conference. Per source, one of the things that got Ross over the top for the job with the Cubs was his strong delivery of a mock 2020 spring training speech. Yeah, team speech. The club asked Ross and Joe Epstein. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Espada. Yeah. yeah. Joe Espada. Oh, yeah. The to, Houston guy. To right. compose and deliver mock speeches for the staff during their second interviews. Hmm. Well, the Chicago media. Well, hey, that's because that's what you want, Gene. You want a guy who can deliver <laughs> a spring training speech better than anyone else. Oh, my gosh. You'd have been hard. If, if Joe Madden would have interviewed, he would have got the job, I think, based on that. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, first I get a penning zoo out there. Yeah. And then, uh, hey, hey, Cup fans are they're 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 they like they love David Ross. This is actually, the best guy. This I is the don't best know. Guy they the could Cup find? fans are just kind of trusting Theo knows what he's doing because a lot of people did want Joe Girardi because he's a Northwestern you, guy and played how, for the how Cubs. sucky has it got to be like a minor league coach in the Cubs system? You've been in the goddamn minors for uh, twenty years coaching. Yeah. And then David Ross, the guy who won the goddamn World Series two years ago, three yeah. years ago. Gets the job. I uh, how was that? How was he? How was he qualified? Yeah, yeah. Because he I caught. Because he caught fucking. Uh, I don't a, know Zimbrano. <laughs> is that why? It's like I handle Zimbrano. What else? What else do you need? Wow, there's a name from the past. I was trying to find the weirdest Cubs pitcher from yeah, like that was ten a years good ago. One. Yeah. Did he catch for Zimbrano? No, he okay. was he was on a different team back then. He yeah. came to. I don't think he. Got yeah, to he the wasn't Cubs. even on the Cubs for. He no, was on the Cubs came, for like three years, right? I think he no 2015 and 2006. I think only two years. <laughs> All right, but he did hit a home run in Game Seven in World <laughs> there, Series. There we so. go. 
That's what you want. And he knows how to win. And I don't know. I I like him a lot, so I hope they know what they're doing. If he was a black guy. By the way, Sammy Sosa doesn't get any oh, interviews. Huh? Yeah, he's not welcome. Let's hear. Hey, by the way, David Ross can't even speak Spanish. Yeah. Uh, how's he going to talk to Javi? <laughs> huh? I don't know. Hey, hey, David, it's not Javi. It's Javi. Okay, buddy? <laughs> You, that's our new manager. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Uh, oh, I don't know. Jesus and Christ. it's gonna be hard because the Cubs lost a lot of games, and they might not be better next year. You'd be like, is it the manager or Theo? Tough. Yeah, Theo. Cubs are on the decline. Wall. It looks like that possibly. Yeah, they got a lot of big things they gotta do. I'm trying not to think about them right now. All right, and love uh, Giannis. Uh, we'll get moving here. Uh, G- a little Giannis. I, G- uh, the NBA season started. Have you have I you heard know. of this, Jim? I've I've not watched. Maybe, Have you heard this NBA thing? Jim? I know it started last week. Who cares? Last week. Yeah, that's kind of October am. basketball. Who cares? It's so long. Their season's really long too. Eighty games, eighty-two games. Well, apparently, uh, Gian- it's uh, it's hey, Gene, it's cooling down, but Giannis is uh, his quotes are heating up. Oh, oh yeah, because the one appa- about Milwaukee. Apparently, he did an interview with the, uh, I think, the uh, Harvard Crimson, like the Harvard student newspaper. Right. I don't know why they're giving, I don't know why he's granting access. To that. What about, hey, how about the Journal Sentinel, huh? How about <laughs> that? Yeah. The Milwaukee, how about the Lacrosse Tribune? There you go. Giannis. Oh, my no God. One's gonna, no, no one's going to go behind your back and publish quotes that are uh, unflattering to the state of Wisconsin. Oh. Uh, anyways, he was quoted saying, I want... This is uh, last year, I guess, preseason last year. I want the Bucks to build a winning culture. Culture. So far, we have been doing great, and if this lasts, there's no other place I want to be. But if we're underperforming in the NBA next year, deciding whether to sign becoming it becomes a lot more difficult. That's scary. And uh, well, gee, we already lost uh, Luel Cinder, so yeah, uh, back in the 70s. we're, we're going to do a repeat. Hey, although Luel Cinder got you a title. Please, Giannis, I, I love the guy, and I, I love Wisconsin. Don't leave. I, it's encouraging because you'd think normally he would want to leave uh, because he's not from Wisconsin. But well, it's good that he said there's no place I'd rather be. So please, the Bucks. It's because he doesn't know anything. Uh, gee, that's like you saying, uh, I don't want to leave Dubuque. Uh, yeah, I got everything right. I got right here. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on. Uh, Bucks, but, you, you built a nice arena. And keep it keep it going, please, but, for him. Yeah, this guy is from Greece, right? Right. This guy has been around Europe. This guy knows, like, what there's more to offer than uh, Water Street in Milwaukee. Yeah. All right. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with that quote. I mean, you, he has no allegiance to the Bucks. I know, but no it allegiance makes it, to, he seems like a guy that would really be all in. I just hope the Bucks can <laughs> keep him. It's so great for City Milwaukee st- stepping on his teammates' uh, legs. I know. I know. If he wasn't a millionaire wearing a jersey that said 1934, everyone would, or, I'm sorry, 34 people would spit on his face. I, yeah. Milwaukee Say, go back does, to uh, Locust Street. They don't have the best reputation sometimes. And then remember last year he got he denied service or something. At, or, oh, yeah, uh, at a restaurant, like yeah. at a bar? Uh, Jeez. Uh, whatever. And that well, but he and he was weirdly defensive, saying there's no way he said any of those words. I'm mean, assuming the uh, interview was recorded. Giannis, oh really? So, uh, oh, yeah. you didn't because people people hang on every word when you're like that, and you don't want to lose them. Well, he's quoted as I said the last what is it called quote paragraph? It's words that I don't use. He said, underperforming or whether or deciding or all those words I've never used in my life. As okay. I said, I'm not going to talk about it. There are going to be stories that come out, but as I said that, I said this, but I'm not going to get into all that. G- listen, Giannis, yeah, just just you can say Wisconsin sucks, okay? I mean, we all know <laughs> it, okay? You don't have to don't have to be coy. Wow. Wisconsin sucks. That's why, Gene. That's why I left. You left Iowa for the same reason. Yeah. It's nice to have a family and yeah, raise and kids it's nice and all to this go stuff. back there, but right, it's but it sucks. Well, I'm not going to go that far, but I will say I don't live there. Yeah, for a reason. Yeah. Well, until until your apartment building burns down from the fire. Then I will be living in Iowa again. By the way, I got a text from my brother asking if I'm okay from I know, the fire. I did too. <laughs> I'm like, uh, listen. We're nowhere near any of that stuff. Well, so, I mean, uh, Brentwood is over there. but the Is thing Brentwood is, burning? Yeah, they. that's where LeBron lives. He got evacuated. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, although the 405 was closed this morning coming over from the valley. Yeah, that's why. That's heard, probably why that. they sent me to Angeles National Forest. Waves that that was a something. Trust uh, me, I'm I'm around a bunch of poor people, and ain't no way the stuff's burning down. Yeah, yeah. By the way, 
Gene, I, 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 if you, if you live in a house with like a bunch of woods behind you that's like dry, how about right. you get yourself a hose? Yeah, yeah. I mean, why aren't you out there just hosing it down? I mean, I know I feel bad because people go, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm the least you're worried." People do, even though they're rich, they lost houses. <laughs> Me, yeah, for our building, if something happens in my building, all they have to do is just like, "Okay, see ya." Yeah. Move on. Uh, it may get slightly hotter than uh, in July, Gene, in your building, in your brick building, right? Right. right. Yeah, I'm in a brick building. Yeah, yeah. you'll be you'll be fine. It, it yeah. gets hot during the July. You probably right, wouldn't even notice right. it. It's just a perfect storm. This is two years in a row. It gets late in the year and it's hot, and dry. It hasn't rained for months, and then a little and, bit and of you, wind. You got crazy homeless people starting fires. Yeah, you know? or the the elect- who is it the some of the utility people or yeah, PG&E. you have so many homeless people in the woods and where I like crack. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Okay. All right, Gene. Well, I think we, uh, I think we learned. All a right. Lot. Well, Hey, I want to tell my fan, love them. They're great. Yeah. And, we're all uh, safe. Don't worry. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, uh, this podcast will go on. If I had a house and maybe I'd worry, but no. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to buy a house in Los Angeles. That's, I'll never do that's that. For damn not that sure. I can afford it, but it's not even worth it. It's all, all about right. the Airbnb. Well, hey, you, anybody from the show want to stay at our Airbnb? We're offering a two percent uh, discount if you stay fourteen days. Gene, that's going to cost you two thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, you can't <laughs> advertising on the show is not free. <laughs> oh yeah. So, okay. Bye. All right. So listen, we're going to end it right there. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Dots. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. Thanks for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye.